Bobby Hughes here with Heritage Pride Custom Firearms, and I've got a little reloading tip for you here today. Um, you know, the whole point in reloading is to save money, and uh, I'm a stickler for saving money when I'm reloading. One, because I have to justify it to the wife as to why I have all of this reloading equipment, and two, um, it's just it defeats the purpose of reloading if you can't save some money in the process. So, unless you're doing match grade stuff. So anyway, my newest find was um, my tumbling media. I, uh, I've been, I had been buying uh, a one gallon Ziploc bag of, uh, bag of crushed corn cob media from my local reloading shop for about four bucks. And that, that to me was pretty cheap. That was a pretty good deal. Um, you know, I'm assuming that they were getting it locally by someone who was crushing their corn cobs after after their harvest or whatever, I don't know, but anyway, needless to say, um, I went to change out my uh, media and I didn't have any more. I thought I did and I didn't. So I called over to the reloading shop. They didn't have any and they're not going to carry it any longer. And after reading for a little while, I saw that a lot of people were recommending that I get uh, are recommending walnut, crushed walnut shells and then I could find them at my local pet shop for a pretty reasonable price. So being in a small town we only have one little pet shop around here so I mostly don't down there and they do have crushed walnut shell bedding, uh, animal bedding. If they didn't have it in stock they'd have to order it and it wouldn't be there till Thursday. Well I'm in the middle of doing some reloading so I needed something to suffice, so she asked me uh, what I was using it for. I told her I was using it for tumble lubing or tumble polishing, and that I normally use corn cob. And she goes, "Oh, well, we have corn cob." So I went over and I found this bag of corn cob. Uh, I'm going to call it media, but it's called bedding and litter. It's 100% natural. It's all just dried and crushed up, ground up corn cob, just like our corn cob media would be. And um, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably a 10 or 15 pound bag and it cost me $7.49 plus tax. So the moral of the story here is look for other ways to get what you need. The Lyman version or the Hornaday version of the corn cob media in the gallon jug is about 16 bucks at the reloading shop and that's ridiculous. That's enough to fill my tumbler up one time and then I might be able to run about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred rounds through it before I'd have to change it again. So with this, I've got enough to fill my my um, tumbler up probably three times for seven dollars and forty nine cents. Didn't have to order it, didn't have to wait on it, didn't have to pay shipping. Just went to my local pet shop and found it. Um, so anyway, that's just one of the uh, the cool you know finds uh, in reloading. Like I said, we do it to save money now. As a follow-up, I also ordered a bag of the crushed walnut shells. I'm going to go ahead and try that too. Uh, they come in five-pound bags and they were six dollars for a five-pound bag. Uh, what I want to do is test the longevity of the walnut shells compared to the corn cob media, see which one holds up the best, see which one does a better job of cleaning the cases. So anyway, that will be here Thursday, so I'll pick that up and then I'll do a video on that at a later time too. So uh, anyway guys, that's it. just wanted to show you that uh, whenever you're reloading, look for alternative ways to save some money. And this is a big one. So anyway guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.